Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Carpo Gaming and another Borderlands 3 video. Alright, we have another legendary weapon guy for you. Now this one is pretty cool and I might say it is shocking. We have the Hazardous Thunderball Fist. Now this is a Molly Wan, a legendary weapon. Comes with the red text, I can have such a thing, which is actually a reference to the Super Inframan, which was a 1975 Hong Kong science fiction film. Pretty cool, right? Now this is a Molly Wan pistol that comes with 937 damage, 79% accuracy, 81% handling, 2.3 on reload speed, 3.15 on fire rate, 14 in the magazine, extra 27% weapon damage consumed, 2 ammo per shot. It is anointed, so while terrified you gain health regeneration, the more terror you have, the higher the bonus. And it is dealing lots of electricity damage. Now where did I get this? I actually got this from the proving ground of the cunning when I was farming for some hectoplasm, and I got it to drop from one of the loot skulls. So. By far, this is random, of course, but you can pretty much get this in This is a world drop, but if you want a terror effect, you're going to have to get it during the Bloody Harvest event, just like I got. Now, here it is. The Thunder Bell Fist. Now, this weapon is actually pretty freaking cool. It looks sexy, and the type of damage that it does is different from any other weapon that I've seen in Borderlands 3. So how does it perform in Aang? Well, let's take it to the proven grounds of the FIFA and let's check it out first. Uh, it's firing straight shots as you can see right here. Nothing special about that. But when it impacts, it's going to shoot up into the air, it's going to arc, and it's going to create a AOE effect of electricity damage. So, let's see what it do. Now, uh, when you hit direct targets and it works yo it works definitely direct targeting and that extra little bonus of AOE effect of electricity damage is actually really freaking cool and it is amazing to look by far one of the most unique weapons that I've run across in Borderlands 3 it is freaking sweet the problem is is that it needs a buff a lot of buff it needs maybe like a thousand maybe two thousand more damage maybe a thousand you know what i'm saying i like weapons that be lp this weapon is so freaking cool i wish this weapon did more damage but it doesn't definitely voltable if this weapon got a buff it would be sweet but because it's only highly of effective against shields it's going to need a buff now you can see it's doing some pretty good damage but i am getting taken out left and right but that's okay that's okay the weapon is still pretty freaking cool so if you ever run across this weapon and you think that it's trash it's not it's a situational weapon but like all other weapons it needs a buff so if this weapon is going to be viable in mayhem mode 4 please gearbox buff this weapon because it is a freaking cool legendary so yeah ladies and gentlemen that's pretty much going to end it for the video today as always, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. And hey, if you really want to help out the channel and the video, you can do so by liking the video if you indeed liked the video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and your support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.